Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how you can use geometry node attributes in your cycles shaders. So here I have a grid. It has a geometry node set up on it. It also has a simple material added to it. If I add an attribute randomize node and call it something like rand in my shader editor, if I add an attribute input and access the rand attribute, you'll see that I'm now getting these values on my shader. Similarly, if I added a sample texture node, you'll see that those values are used in the shader. You'll need to note that this is per point on the target mesh. So the higher the resolution, the better it's going to represent this texture. One instance where this is really interesting is with the attribute proximity node. Here, my grid is the geometry for the attribute proximity. This UV sphere is in this object info node, set to relative mode, and its geometry is the target of my proximity node. I'm putting the distance in an attribute called prox, and I'm referencing prox in this attribute node in my shader. Now as I move the UV sphere, you can see the effect on the target mesh. By assigning an attribute color ramp node, not only could I output a grayscale, I can also output colors. I hope this gives you some ideas and I hope it inspires you to make something awesome. If you found this video helpful, click like and if you like the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.